Hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vakai Academy of Mathematics. This session we have an interesting question from the concept of permutations and combination. Let's directly get into the question. In how many ways the letters of the word energy, see our word, our word is energy. This can be rearranged such that the letter N is always placed somewhere between the two E's. Now we need to understand this condition very carefully. See the condition, the letter N is always placed somewhere between the two E's. Now if I just give you some examples, it will be very easy for you to get the clarity. Now just see some examples. Our given word is energy. We have got totally six letters in our word. Is it or not? Now out of these six letters, we have to place the letter N somewhere between the two E's, which means it can be in any possible ways. For example, the given word itself, our condition is satisfied. See here, E is here, the other E is here. In between those two E's, we have this N. But not only like this, it can be even with some gaps. Now listen here. So I can place the N here, which means this N should be placed in between two E's. My two E's can even take these two places. You understand the point? Or it can even be like N here, one E here, the other can, E can be here. Okay, fine, yes. But the point is always this N should be placed between the two E's and the N should never be out of those two E's. This is the condition. Okay, for example, I, my, I have my N here, but the two E's are somewhere like this. So this kind of condition is what is not allowed. So this is what they come to ask very clearly in this question. Now, if we try to arrange our letters in the given word, in how many ways we can do this process? This is going to be the question. Now, I think you got the clarity. Let us now get into the approach how we can solve this problem. Now, there are two good approaches in which we can solve this problem. Let us see them one by one. Now, coming with the starting with the first approach, we have got totally six letters here. Is it or not? So, let's make six slots. Now, the first thing is, anyhow, we have to arrange N in between the two E's, which means it is like we need to arrange the three letters E, N and E in the same order. Is it or not? So E should come first, then next N should come, then next the other E should come. This is the way we need to arrange, right? Which means it is enough for us to select. Remember what I come to say, it is enough for us to select any three slots out of these six slots. Is the idea clear to you? So select three slots, okay? So select three out of six. Now what do you call it to be select? Because you see here, if I take the first, second and third positions, anyways, the first E should come here, then the next E N should come here and the next E will go to the third position. So in these three places, our three letters will be arranged. Or it can be the other way possible also, okay? Fine, yes, there are many other ways possible. For example, if we come to choose, the second, third and fifth positions, then obviously in the second position E will come, third position N will come and the fifth position the other E will come, right? Yes, so that means that's why I told it is enough for us to select three slots out of the six slots. So selecting three out of six will be how many ways? It's simply six C three ways, which means six into five into four divided by one into two into three. So this will totally give you how much? So anyways, we can cut two threes are six. So 20 ways in which we can do this process, right? So that means we can place these three letters E, N and E alone in 20 different ways. You understand my point? Now the number of ways we are finding here is just to arrange these three letters E, N and E. That's it. So we can do this process in 20 different ways. Remember, we need not arrange when we select itself this possibility will be included. Why we need not arrange it? Because as I told, three slots, so we don't have any arrangements there. E comes, then N comes, then the other E comes. If we change the order, then it is like we are breaking the given condition in the question. Okay, fine, yes. So 20 ways this process can be done. Let's come to the other three letters. What are the other three left over? We have got the other three letters R, G and Y, right? So now for those three letters, we don't have any condition. Now there will be three other slots left over, is it or not? So in these three slots, we need to arrange the other three letters. Yes or no? So that means to arrange the other three letters R, G and Y. So the number of ways is going to be three factorial, which is going to be six. So which means total overall number of ways will be equal to 
For each of these 20 ways, we have got 6 ways to arrange these 3 letters. So 20 times 6, total 120 ways is going to be the answer for this question. Okay, yes, understood? Fine. Now this is one way of looking at this question and there's another approach also we can handle to solve this question that will be even more interesting and it applies some logic. Okay, fine, yes, we need to apply some logic to answer this question. Anyways, just go back to our original uh, word. So our given word is going to be energy, correct? Now just think of what about the total number of ways in which we can arrange the letters of the word energy. Let's just forget this. Okay, total number of ways is going to be how much? Anyways, there are totally how many letters? Six letters. So that means six factorial. But remember there are two identical letters, two. So two factorial. So six factorial divided by two factorial, which will be equal to 720 by 2 and that means it's going to be 360. So I can have totally 360 ways in which I can arrange all the letters of the word energy without any restriction. Fine. Okay. Yes. Now this stands for the total number of arrangement. But out of which what we want is we need the number of ways in which this n is placed, this n is positioned in between the two e's. That's what we want, right? Now we will just see the apparent positions of the three letters E, N and E. Okay, fine. Yes, E, N and E. So what about these three positions? So they can be arranged in three different ways. Is it or not? Either E will come first, then N comes next, then E comes next. Or it can be the other way. Either N can come here, then followed by the two E's. Or the two E's will come, then N will go to the last. So these are the three different ways in which I can see these three letters placed in our word, is it or not? I am not coming to say that they come next to each other in whatever way the order is there, even if there are some gaps or whether they come consecutively one after the other. These are the respective positions or the respective orders they will be taking the uh, positions, is it or not? Fine, yes, this order only they will be happening, they will be appearing in our word. Now, we can clearly make one clear good observation here out of these 360 ways. Definitely, these three letters will be arranged or ordered in any of these ways only. Is it or not? So either E will be there, the other E will be there, N will be somewhere in between. Or the two N, the N will be here or the other two E's will be out. I mean N will be there, came out to the left hand side of the other two E's or the two E's will be here, N will go to the right hand side, right extreme or somewhere out of this two E's on the right hand side. Okay, fine. So anyways, these will take. That means I can tell that out of every three ways, in one way, we will be having our condition satisfied, which means what will be the answer for our question? Out of this total 360 ways, our way, the required number of ways, how much it will be? So required number of ways is going to be, it's going to be, just going to be. Anyways, for these three ways, in every out of these three ways, we have got one way our condition satisfied. Total 360 ways, so that means one out of three of 360, so this will give you the answer. 120. So in 120 different ways, we will be having our word which is of this way. I mean like the n's position will be somewhere in between the two e's. So this is an another way or another approach to see the same question. Okay, fine. Yes. So I hope this question, this solution, the way we saw is clear to you. If any doubts you have, you can just put it in the comment box. When I see it, I'll see to rectify your doubts. Again, let's catch up with some other interesting question. See you soon there. Thank you so much.